As a father, I want my daughter to know she is, is braver than she believes, stronger than she seems, smarter than she thinks, and more loved than she'll ever know. Jen and Jay, as you know, met on the dating app Tinder. A love story emerged with many adventures, including traveling the world. You are definitely everything Jay has been looking for in life, everything we would want in a daughter-in-law. You are a beautiful, lovely, caring person, and um, love you to bits, darling. The day that Jay asked me for my daughter's hand in marriage was the day I finally stopped worrying about who would look after her when I could no longer can. We ever got an inkling about Jen was when Jay came home one night seven years ago and um, said, Oh man, this is fantastic chick. She's hot. Oh, I think I'm punching above my weight. And we thought, hey, don't cut yourself short, mate. When I think of Jay, I think of someone who is solid as a rock. And he's a cheeky bugger. Actually, he's a fucking cheeky bugger. <laughs> I love you, my bro. But that's the kind of guy Jay is. A funny guy. It's always trying to have a laugh. And this funny bastard truly does have a heart of gold. So Jen, I hope you look after this man for the rest of your life together, as I know he'll look after you. Cheers to you both, and I wish you all the very best together. Love you both. Jennifer, my best friend, my rock, my everything. As we always say to each other, as long as we are by each other's side, we can overcome and achieve and conquer anything. I promise to appreciate not only who you are now, but also the person you wish to become. I promise that I will always make you laugh. I promise that I will wear my favorite shorts only at home from now on. <laughs> and I promise to love you today, forever, and always. Jay, you have pushed me to experience things in my life which I never thought I'd try or like. The highs have been amazing, filled with laughter, cheekiness and life-lasting memories, while the lows have proven what a power team we are. You are my soulmate. I love the calming effect you have on me. Even when I can't seem to find the light at the end of the tunnel, you hand me a torch and remind me what a team we are. We can get through anything together. <laughs> Doing well. I vow to continue family traditions with our future children that I know mean so much to you, like Christmas camping. However, I'll never get used to using the long drop. It's a I promise to love you today, tomorrow, and tomorrow.
most of you know I'm the emotional one, so I'll get this over and done with fairly quickly, but there is going to be lots of thank yous. Yeah, it doesn't look like it's going to be quick. That's fine. <laughs> <laughs> Jennifer first introduced me to Jay for brunch at the local Milk and Honey Cafe. As it later turned out, I had first met Jay many years prior. <laughs> this was discovered one day when Jennifer was looking through the McGettigan family album. To her astonishment, there is her sister and her boyfriend in the kindergarten photos. <laughs> And honestly, Jay, if anyone can survive two weeks locked in hotel quarantine with you, mate, <laughs> f***ing marry him. Um, I love you, mate. I remember all the fun things, and not so fun things, we used to do growing up. Um, I remember play fighting in the pool. We used to drown us all the time, to the point where my friends didn't want to come over anymore. Um, I found you, Jay, was there. But as Jay turned into his late teens, and his knees turned into their late 90s. Um, <laughs> Jim, I feel like you've already been a part of the family for a few years now. You get along with all the all of Jay's friends and all our family so well. It's gonna be so nice to finally have a sister. <laughs> Gina, there is still something you haven't no, done that becomes part of the family. Yeah.